Hello. This video is for Susan, and she posed, my dear friend Susan, who posed, well, it wasn't a question, she just said the word humanity, and just said speak on that, whatever it comes to, so, um, hmm, well, humanity, that word, uh, like a lot of words and concepts over the last few years, uh, doesn't really hold a whole lot of meaning, set meaning to me anymore. I mean, it brings up lots of things, but I I don't have any set, you know, as, as the beliefs drift, you know, uh, kind of drift away and slip away and a whole, I hold less tightly on the concepts and ideas. And it's been a natural pro, you know, progress, not progress, but a, a natural progression. So when certain ideas and concepts come up, it doesn't really hit hard like it. Like, for instance, if somebody had posed the word to me or, or question or topic, humanity, say, ten years ago to me, I probably would have jumped out right away and I would have had some ideas and concepts and, you know, I would have went running on it and now it doesn't really mean a whole lot to me, but I, I'm happy to, uh, it does bring up, I'm glad you brought it up because I can't, it does bring up some things to express on, but, uh, but really, Humanity, what's humanity? You know, if you look it up, the definition of it, it's, it's several, it means, could mean several different things. It means uh, to be human, a classification of the human race. It also c can be used to reference a state of being, of a state of really moral way of being uh, as, as a human being. Um, those are the two main ones it, that we think of, I think, most of us. It's either speaking to us as a classification, humanity, our collective group of humans, or a way of a state of being that defines us. But what is it to be hum, hum, human or humanity? When we think of, of that either way, I think what we're talking about is a state. Because everything in this existence is states within states and ever-changing states. So even to be human, a human being, is just one state of many of our states. You know, what were we before we were born and what will we be when we're after? You know, there's lots of thoughts on that. But they're just states. And then when we think of, if we're thinking humanity of what it means to be human, well, again, to be human is means to be a being of many states, right? And let's really look at it. Well, what are the different, what does it mean to be human? To be a human being means to be cruel. And it means to be kind. It means to love and it means to hate. It means to create, it means to destroy. We do all these things, right? So we can hold on to our, or what we prefer to believe to be human. But I mean, it's all of these things, really. That's, that's what comes to me as states. That's really what the word brings up to me is not any specific thing. It's just to me, I hear a state. Humanity. As soon as you put T on the end of anything, it's a state, right? Unity. Um, empathy, I don't know, what's one of, what other words? Well, you know what I mean, it's a state, right? So, no matter which way you look at it, we're talking about states of being. So, to be a human being is just one of our many states. And in that, our present physical state of being a human being are also many states of being. We're ever changing, ever growing, ever expanding. 
and we experience so many different states from the time we're born and the time we leave in a day. We experience so many states, right? So yeah. Um, what is it to be human? Well, I guess, you know, that's, that's up to you. It's up to each of us to answer that one. But to me, again, I would say it just means to be in a complex, in a complex experience of ever-changing states. But we are the master, always, of our own experience, of our own perception. And whatever kind of state we want to experience, if, if you want to experience the compassionate part, if you want to experience the love and the, the unity and the, you know, certain things like that, whatever it is, the creativity, the cre creative part, then that's, we have the power to do so. And by being that state, that's what we create from it. You know? Not sure what else to say on that. You know, we, we are, whatever you are is what you'll experience, right? So to me, even though humanity is so many varied shapes, for me, for me, to, what it means for me to be a human being is, is love, you know, because that's the state that I choose to embrace. Uh, always, always have, really. But it doesn't mean that's the only state. I acknowledge there's all these other states. But that's the perception and the experience I choose to have. I've, I chose it before I came here, and I've been having that experience ever since. So, humanity is whatever you want it to be. And what it means to you is whatever it means to you, and that's the experience you'll have, is whatever meaning you put to it, whatever you want it to be. I mean, if, if you want it to mean cruelty and whatever, then that's what we'll experience and we'll see. I mean, it is, we do see it, but it doesn't mean that's the only thing that humans are. Humans aren't just cruel. Can we be cruel and destructive? Absolutely. Is that all we are? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. So, yeah, it is what you want it to be. Life is what we want it to be. Be what you want your life to be. Be that state, and that's the state you'll be. <laughs> I don't know, I hope you found that interesting or lighting or something, I don't know. I don't really know what else to say on that, but uh, interesting uh, topic. Thank you, Susan. Love you. Love it, mate.